36,000 troops are basically under your command. How, how do you actually structure it with missile detection, space? How do you have them broken down uh, the amount of troops? 36,000 uh, airmen uh, spread out over 134 locations across the globe. Everywhere from Thule, Greenland, in the Arctic, where if you go there in the wintertime, it's 24 hour darkness. If you go there in the summertime, it's 24 hour daylight. Uh, all the way down to an island in the Indian Ocean, Diego Garcia, uh, on top of a mountain in, in Maui at Mount Haleakala, uh, to the desert in New Mexico, uh, and all over the continental United States, in Europe and in, and in Asia. And so what we have uh, broken up is I, underneath my command, which is Air Force Space Command, I have two what we call numbered air forces. Uh, 14th Air Force out of California is responsible for everything in space, and 24th Air Force in San Antonio, Texas is responsible for cyber. And under 14th Air Force on the space side, we have broken it up into five space wings. Two launch wings, one in California. Anybody here from California? If you look at California, you look at the map, there's a little knee that juts out halfway down the state. Uh, just north of Santa Barbara, that's Vandenberg. And the reason why Vandenberg is there is we can launch a satellite into polar orbit, which goes over the South Pole and up around the world over the North Pole. We can launch southerly without going over any land until we hit Antarctica. That's the only reason why that base is at Atlantic. We do the same thing at the East Coast. We launch out over the uh, Atlantic to put something in geosynchronous orbit. So there are two launch wings. And I have two wings that operate the satellites. One wing that operates the GPS satellites, one uh, GPS communications, space surveillance, and then one wing that operates the missile warning uh, satellites that provide the unblinking eye to protect our country from, from missile launches. Uh, 